Hey there, it's Ted. I don't like doing YouTube confessional style videos, but you know, it's the best way to do this. Um, TLDR, I passed my sport pilot check ride yesterday. So here we are in June 2022 and, and I passed. I had about uh, 80 something hours and uh, most of that, probably 60 of that is, is dual instruction and I passed. Uh, it was a really long day. I didn't expect that it was going to be nearly as long of a day, but for various reasons it was. So left the house around 7 a.m., was at the airport before 8. I had to fly kind of last minute to a different airport. So I left it uh, a little bit after 8 to head over there. And then the oral or the ground part was 9 to noon. At least half of that is is going through paperwork. Uh, we waited a little bit for the weather and then flew an hour and a half and I got back to my home airport around 4 p.m. So, and then I went from there, I wasn't really wrapped up there until about 4.30. I went from there and waited a little bit and then went down to, back to that same airport, Aurora, and went to the Vans Aircraft Factory. So the factory where the plane that I fly was built and where, you know, basically more planes than anyone else gets shipped every year out of there. So um, it, it just meant that, you know, 7 a.m. to past 9 p.m. for a for a day, you know. I'm glad that I wasn't flying late uh, because of that. But um, did some pattern work, started to head northeast. Um, uh, I'll see if I can annotate this and show this, but I, you can see where Estacada is there, which is kind of my first timing mark. And I barely got over to Milano and, uh, and and from there, because that was going to be uh, that was going to be my uh, uh, first timing mark was Milano de Estacada. I couldn't even get a time before we hit this like wall of rain, and we knew it had come and just passed through and it was headed that way. But it was like, okay, this isn't going to happen. So uh, turned, went south, trying to do a diversion without GPS and everything else. But uh, turned south, had to avoid parachute jumper airspace. Uh, and it was so bumpy, I couldn't even hold a sectional, let alone like compute times or anything else. So I had to just like throw the sectional down and just fly for a little bit. It was like aviate, navigate, communicate. I can barely aviate, aviate in this because it's just, you know, it's just really bumpy. But, you know, you can see it was just kind of a phase to get through. And we got to the other side, it was a little bumpy. Uh, we got through kind of the final curtain of rain and, and it smoothed out. Um, but the winds aloft were super high. So um, I'll, I'll insert a screenshot into here that shows uh, my steep turn and it looks really ugly from the ground track. Uh, it's a, as close as, as you can expect with my experience, it was a really good steep turn, um, but from the ground, because of the ground speed, it looks really wild. Um, you can see it was like 28 knots is the, is the slow speed and, you know, hitting like 130 on the other the other half of the steep turn um, hit 150 at one point in the um, in the flight and which is amazing because I never was going over an airspeed of 100 you know um, so yeah uh, it went well um, did some did my pattern work there at at Aurora Airport which is a, a class D uh, I'm not used to doing towered work and then to do it on a check ride made it fun um, Okay, so two of the things I want to get through here. Um, the first is uh, be better. The things that I could have done better, um, these are really just technical. I mean, there's things that I did poorly, but but my tips to improve two things. Number one is have your CFI wet sign your printed IACRA form. Um, he e-signed it. We're cool. It's like it's all printed. It says e-signed on the, on the printed version. If IACRA went down, it needed to be a, a physical signature, aka wet sign. So... Um, glad that, that it worked. Second thing is, um, expect to sign some things when you're there with the, uh, with the DPE. Um, there's two signatures and a couple of forms you have to look at. Um, and so if you only bring your iPad or your phone, even worse, you're going to sign it on that. Um, the, with, with the iPad, um, Safari blocks pop-ups and so it, appears not to work at all, and it may not work. There's some settings you can change. I'll link that in the doobly-doo. Uh, I ended up just like really quickly downloading Chrome and signing in from that. And I have 
my security engineer length password. So there's no chance I was going to, you know, type it in somewhere else. It would have just taken forever to even try to type a password. Um, so, so those are two tips. Okay, a few of my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. Uh, I've been wanting to do this uh, for a little bit, but it really, it's shout outs and thanks for, for a few things to get to this point. First is my CFI, Sam Terrell. Um, I, I was referred to him and I like that he uh, is a photography nerd and puts out uh, high quality YouTube videos. And he's also a very precise pilot, um, which makes it hard to compare and know if you're doing well because he's he's just spot on with everything. Um, so I'll, I'll link his stuff in the, in the doobly doo. He posts on Instagram and YouTube and I don't know, probably Facebook. And uh, the second is, uh, Philip Mandel, who does a lot of FAA safety, uh, wings credit in the area. Um, he had a, an engine out at a low altitude over Pearson airfield, um, that was stunning. And to me, it was very educational in a way that I didn't expect, which was not just the theory of, of an engine failure may happen after takeoff, but here's what it looks like. And here's what it looks like when you've got buildings around you. So that I really liked. Um, the the final two, number one, midlife podcast, midlife pilot podcast. It's it's especially good as, as YouTube and hanging out and stuff. Um, it's a crowd of people that are my age. We're middle age and we're not looking to fly as a career and low hour pilots and their struggles as a, as a low hour pilot and in confidence and in everything else. And so, um, that group's been really helpful to me, especially in this last month or so. Um, finally opposing bases, uh, podcast, really funny, educational, but it's just really entertaining. Um, so I really like it. Um, and cool. Sam recorded a video as I was coming back into, um, my home airport. I'll show a snippet of that. Theodore Timmons, you just passed your check ride. What are you doing next? Fueling the plane. <laughs> Going to Disneyland. Yeah! Congrats, bud. Thank you. Obviously, I didn't record YouTube. I didn't even ask to record it with the DPE. I love recording every flight, but that that was one that I did not even want to. I don't. It, I don't know. There, there's something about that level of trust and everything else. So, um, so you just get to see the, the bits around the edges of it. So anyhow, thanks. And I'm looking forward to flying some more later.